Minnesota CDL Combination Vehicles Test Question 1. The tractor protection valve will close in the trailer. Emergency brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. Service Emergency Parking Answer Emergency Question 2. A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is Empty Overloaded Loaded to full capacity Answer Empty Question 3. The driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? The brake pedal will work the trailer spring brakes instead of the air brakes. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. Answer If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. Question 4. Why should you not use the trailer hand brake to straighten out a jackknifing trailer? Because the brakes on the trailer wheels cause the skid in the first place. Because the brakes on the trailer wheels will not respond to the hand brake. Because the brake handle is too hard to reach. Answer Because the brakes on the trailer wheels cause the skid in the first place. Question 5 off tracking or cheating causes which of these to follow the wider pass while making a turn? Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. Triple towing a 45 feet trailer. 53 feet bobtail. Answer Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. Question 6. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds Lifting the brake pedal Turning on the parking brakes from the cab Answer Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 7. Under good driving conditions, you should leave at least one second of space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for every feet of your vehicle's length. 20 30 10 Answer 10 Question 8. Semi-trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Often do not have spring brakes. Are easier to brake because they are heavier. Answer Often do not have spring brakes. Question 9. When should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle? To park at loading docks. To park on a grade. Never. Answer Never. 
Question 10. You are uncoupling a trailer. After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Begin to lower trailer landing gear. Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Answer Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Question 11. When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer. The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 12. In general, the higher your truck's center of gravity, the easier it is to turn around corners. More stable it is when turning. Easier it is to turn over. Answer. Easier it is to turn over. Question 13. Semi-trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes. Often do not have spring brakes. Are easier to brake because they are heavier. Usually need a glad hand converter. Answer. Often do not have spring brakes. Question 14. While checking if the rear trailer is securely coupled to the front trailer the landing gear should be Slightly raised Fully raised Fully lowered Answer Slightly raised Question 15. After you have coupled the trailer you should have to raise the landing gear by using Intermediate High gear Low gear Answer Low gear Question 16. Before you back under a trailer, make sure that Trailer brakes are locked. Air supply knob is in. Air brakes are off. Answer. Trailer brakes are locked. Question 17. When should you use chocks to park a trailer not equipped with spring brakes? Always. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Never. Answer. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Question 18. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Lifting the brake pedal. Turning on the parking brakes from the cab. Answer. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 19. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is Blood down to half the maximum pressure At normal pressure 
between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. Answer At normal pressure. Question 20. To unlock the fifth wheel, pull the release handle to the position. Closed. Open. Neutral. Answer. Open. Question 21. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should Always approach the trailer at a slight angle. Always use lowest reverse gear. Do it quickly to ensure that the kingpin is locked into the fifth wheel. Answer Always use lowest reverse gear. Question 22. How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? None. Just enough to see light through it. About one fourth inch. Answer. None. Question 23. You have coupled with the semi-trailer. Where should you put the iron trailer supports before driving away? Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Three turns off the top with a crank handle secured in its bracket. Answer. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 24. Air and electrical lines from the tractor to the trailer should be Secured, but with enough slack for turns. Resting on the frame of the tractor. Pulled tight with very little slack. Answer. Secured, but with enough slack for turns. Question 25. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night, which extends four feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Red flag. Red flags. Red lights. Answer. Red lights. Question 26. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should expect. End of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Trailer landing gear is fully extended. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Answer. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Question 27. Glad hands are used to connect the electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Service and emergency air lines from the truck to the trailer. Kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Answer. Service and emergency air lines from the truck to the trailer. Question 28. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when? It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. The kingpin is about one and one fourth inches above the fifth wheel. The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Answer 
it will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 29. Describe what the service line is for. To carry air to the parking brake to control the trailer brakes. To carry air to a relay valve that allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. To carry air to the cab of the rig to cool it. Answer. To carry air to a relay valve that allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. Question 30. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Lifting the brake pedal Turning on the parking brakes from the cab Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds Answer Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 31. The tractor protection valve will close in the trailer. Emergency brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. Parking. Service. Emergency. Answer. Emergency. Question 32. A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is Overloaded. Loaded to full capacity. Empty. Answer. Empty. Question 33. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1. Keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and, 2. Keep the fifth wheels free play as tight as possible. Make sure that the brakes are properly adjusted. Go slowly around turns. Answer. Go slowly around turns. Question 34. When checking the trailer, emergency brakes, make sure that the tractor protection control valve is placed in the position. Emergency. Neutral. Normal. Answer. Emergency. Question 35. Glad hands are used to connect the kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Service and emergency air lines from the track to the trailer. Electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Answer. Service and emergency air lines from the track to the trailer. Question 36. Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The head. The base. The shank. Answer. The shank. Question 37. Compared to a straight truck or bus there are things to inspect in combination vehicles. Fewer. The same number. More. Answer. More. Question 38. The best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to Hear the wheels skidding. Feel for pulling in the cab. See it in your mirrors.
Answer. See it in your mirrors. Question 39. Almost half of all truck driver deaths are the result of Speed Rollovers Following too closely Answer Rollovers Question 40. Off-tracking or cheating causes which of these to follow the wider pass while making a turn? 53 feet bobtail Tractor with two 27 feet trailers Triple towing a 45 feet trailer Answer Tractor with two 27 feet trailers Question 41. More than half of truck driver deaths and crashes are the result of rollovers. Trucks turn over easier when fully loaded and are five times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Ten times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Two times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Answer. 10 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Question 42. You want to inspect the trailer supports. You should place the tractor transmission in which gear after you have uncoupled the trailer? Low reverse. High reverse. Neutral. Answer. Neutral. Question 43. The safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is? You should turn wide as you complete the turn. You should turn wide before you start the turn. You should not make a turn and move to another place where you can make a turn without crossing other lane. Answer You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Question 44. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Turning on the parking brakes from the cab. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Lifting the brake pedal. Answer. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 45. Why should you lock the tractor glad hands, or dummy couplers, to each other when you are not towing a trailer? If you did not, you could never build system pressure. It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. The connected brake circuit becomes a backup air tank. Answer it will keep dirt and water out of the lines. Question 46. A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is Loaded to full capacity Empty Overloaded Answer Empty Question 47. You are uncoupling a trailer. After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Begin to lower trailer landing gear. 
answer. Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Question 48. More than half of truck driver deaths and crashes are the result of rollovers. Trucks turn over easier when fully loaded and are 10 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. 2 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. 5 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Answer 10 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Question 49. Which of these statements is true? Light vehicles need more braking power to stop than heavy ones. Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Always delay braking a heavy vehicle until you have no other choice. Answer Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Question 50. What are the other names for the service airline? Curved line or signal line. Control line or signal line. Straight line or control line. Answer. Control line or signal line. Question 51. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is Blood down to half the maximum pressure. At normal pressure, between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. Answer. At normal pressure. Question 52. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when... It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. The kingpin is about 1 and 1 fourth inches above the fifth wheel. The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Answer It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 53. While checking if the rear trailer is securely coupled to the front trailer the landing gear should be Fully lowered Slightly raised Fully raised Answer Slightly raised Question 54. More than half of truck driver deaths and crashes are the result of rollovers. Trucks turn over easier when fully loaded and are Five times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Ten times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Two times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Answer. 10 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Question 55. You are coupling a tractor to a semi-trailer and have backed up but are not under it. What should you hook up before backing under semi-trailer? The electrical service cable. The emergency and service airlines. Nothing, back up and lock the fifth wheel. Answer The emergency and service airlines.
Question 56. When should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle? Never. To park on a grade. To park at loading docks. Answer. Never. Question 57. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when? The kingpin is about 1 and 1 fourth inches above the fifth wheel. The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Answer It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 58. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should expect? End of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Trailer landing gear is fully extended. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Answer Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Question 59 when connecting the glad hands press the two seals with the copeter together at what degree to each other? 180 degrees 45 degree 90 degree Answer 90 degree Question 60 where should the tractor do when you inspect landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? With the fifth wheel directly beneath the kingpin. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Completely cleared from the trailer. Answer With the tractor frame under the trailer. Question 61. The driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? The brake pedal will work the trailer spring brakes instead of the air brakes. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. Answer. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. Question 62. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should... Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 63. Describe what the service line is for. To carry air to the parking brake to control the trailer brakes. To carry air to a relay valve that allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. To carry air to the cab of the rig to cool it. Answer To carry air to a relay valve that allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. Question 64. If the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? The trailer's tank will exhaust through the open line. The emergency trailer brakes will come on. 
nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Answer Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 65. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Turning on the parking brakes from the cab Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds Lifting the brake pedal Answer Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 66. After you lock the kingpin into the fifth wheel, you should check the connection by pulling. The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Forward 50 feet, turning right and left. The tractor ahead sharply to release the trailer brakes. Answer The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Question 67. When should you use chocks to park a trailer not equipped with spring brakes? Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Always. Never. Answer. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Question 68. After you have coupled the trailer you should have to raise the landing gear by using Low gear Intermediate High gear Answer Low gear Question 69. When coupling the proper position of the fifth wheel is Level with the ground Tilted down toward the end of tractor Tilted up toward the end of the tractor Answer Tilted down toward the end of tractor Question 70 a trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is Empty Overloaded Loaded to full capacity Answer Empty Question 71 Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel plate is greased as required? To reduce heat and noise. To prevent steering problems. To ensure good electrical connections. Answer. To prevent steering problems. Question 72. You have coupled with the semi-trailer. Where should you put the iron trailer supports before driving away? Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Three turns off the top with a crank handle secured in its bracket. Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Answer Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 73. Before you back under a trailer, make sure that Trailer brakes are locked. Air brakes are off. Air supply knob is in. Answer. Trailer brakes are locked. Question 74. 
a tractor with an trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Empty. Fully loaded. Lightly loaded. Answer. Fully loaded. Question 75. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kin pin. This means that You can set the fifth wheel for weight balance. The parking lock is off and you may drive away. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. Answer the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. Question 76. If you have coupled with the semi-trailer, where should the front trailer supports be before driving away? Raised three-fourths way with the crank handle removed. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Answer. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 77. The hand valve should be used. Only when the trailer is fully loaded. Only with the foot brake. To test the trailer brakes. Answer. To test the trailer brakes. Question 78. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kin pin. This means that the trailer will not swivel on the fifth wheel. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. The parking lock is off and may drive away. Answer The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Question 79 you are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when? It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. The kingpin is about one and one-fourth inches above the fifth wheel. Answer. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 80. If the service airline comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency lines stay together, what will happen right away? The trailer's air tank will exhaust through the open line. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The emergency tractor brakes will come on. Answer Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 81 Where should the tractor do when you inspect landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? With the fifth wheel directly beneath the kingpin. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Completely cleared from the trailer. Answer. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Question 82. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is. At normal pressure. Blood down to half the maximum pressure. Between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. 
Answer. At normal pressure. Question 83. When driving a set of doubles it is necessary to close which shut off valve in the last trailer? Front. Back. Middle section. Answer. Back. Question 84. To stop a trailer skid you should Release the brakes. Use the trailer hand brakes. Counter steer. Answer. Release the brakes. Question 85. In general, the higher your truck's center of gravity, the easier it is to turn around corners. Easier it is to turn over. More stable it is when turning. Answer. Easier it is to turn over. Question 86. The iron trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheels. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. The safety latch is in unlocked position. Answer There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. Question 87. The best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to Hear the wheels skidding. See it in your mirrors. Feel for pulling in the cab. Answer. See it in your mirrors. Question 88. Where should the tractor do when you inspect landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? Completely cleared from the trailer. With the fifth wheel directly beneath the kingpin. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Answer. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Question 89. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when? It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. The kingpin is about 1 and 1 fourth inches above the fifth wheel. The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Answer. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 90. The best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to See it in your mirrors. Feel for pulling in the cab. Hear the wheels skidding. Answer. See it in your mirrors. Question 91. Glad hands are used to connect the Service and emergency airlines from the truck to the trailer. Kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Answer. Service and emergency air lines from the truck to the trailer. Question 92. While checking if the rear trailer is securely coupled to the front trailer the landing gear should be Fully raised. Slightly raised.
Fully lowered. Answer. Slightly raised. Question 93. If the brakes are not released when you push the trailer air supply valve you should Cross the airlines Check electrical cable Check airline connection Answer Check airline connection Question 94 Almost half of all truck driver deaths are the result of Speed Rollovers Following too closely Answer Rollovers Question 95 The hand valve should be used only when the trailer is fully loaded. Only with the foot brake. To test the trailer brakes. Answer. To test the trailer brakes. Question 96. To stop a trailer skid you should. Use the trailer hand brakes. Release the brakes. Counter steer. Answer. Release the brakes. Question 97. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws closer around the kingpin. This means that the parking lock is off and may drive away. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. The trailer will not swivel on the fifth wheel. Answer The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Question 98 why should you not use the trailer hand valve while driving? Because you should use the parking brake. Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Because it won't work as well as the foot brake. Answer Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Question 99. If you have coupled with the semi-trailer, where should the front trailer supports be before driving away? Raised three-fourths way with the crank handle removed. Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Fully raised with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Answer. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 100. When coupling, the proper position of the fifth wheel is Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Level with the ground. Tilted up toward the end of the tractor. Answer. Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Question 101. Before you back under a trailer, make sure that Trailer brakes are locked. Air brakes are off. Air supply knob is in. Answer. Trailer brakes are locked. Question 102. Why should you not use the trailer handbrake to straighten out a jackknifing trailer? Because the brake handle is too hard to reach. 
because the brakes on the trailer wheels caused the skid in the first place. Because the brakes on the trailer wheels will not respond to the hand brake. Answer Because the brakes on the trailer wheels caused the skid in the first place. Question 103. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes on, should not be more than Psi per minute. 2 6 4 Answer 4 Question 104. The iron trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheels. The safety latch is in unlocked position. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. Answer. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. Question 105. Which of these statements is true? Always delay braking a heavy vehicle until you have no other choice. Light vehicles need more braking power to stop than heavy ones. Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Answer Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Question 106 how long does it take a typical tractor trailer to clear a single track? A double track? It takes 10 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 12 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 7 seconds to clear a single track and more than 10 seconds to clear a double track. Answer It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. Question 107 More than half of truck driver deaths and crashes are the result of rollovers. Trucks turn over easier when fully loaded and are 10 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. 2 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. 5 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Answer 10 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Question 108. After you lock the kingpin into the fifth wheel, you should check the connection by pulling. Forward 50 feet, turning right, and left. The tractor ahead sharply to release the trailer brakes. The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Answer The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Question 109. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Lifting the brake pedal. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Turning on the parking brakes from the cab. Answer Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. 
Question 110. You are coupling a tractor to a semi-trailer and have backed up but are not under it. What should you hook up before backing under semi-trailer? Nothing, back up and lock the fifth wheel. The emergency and service airlines. The electrical service cable. Answer. The emergency and service airlines. Question 111. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night, which extends 4 feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Red flag. Red flags. Red lights. Answer. Red lights. Question 112. After the trailer has been coupled to the tractor, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in what position? Down. Up. Normal. Answer. Normal. Question 113. Semi-trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Are easier to brake because they are heavier. Often do not have spring brakes. Answer. Often do not have spring brakes. Question 114. You are coupling tractor to a semi-trailer. You have connected the airlines. Before backing under the trailer you should Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Pull ahead to test the glad hand connections. Answer. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 115. More than half of truck driver deaths and crashes are the result of rollovers. Trucks turn over easier when fully loaded and are two times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Five times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Ten times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Answer. Ten times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Question 116. Air and electrical lines from the tractor to the trailer should be Pulled tight with very little slack Resting on the frame of the tractor Secured, but with enough slack for turns Answer Secured, but with enough slack for turns Question 117. The trailer hand valve works the trailer brakes. Which of these statements is true? The foot brake sends air to all of the brakes on the vehicle, including that the trailers. The trailer hand valve should be used only to test the trailer brakes. Both of these statements are correct. Answer. Both of these statements are correct. Question 118. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. 
turning on the parking brakes from the cab. Lifting the brake pedal. Answer. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 119. What are the other names for the service airline? Control line or signal line. Curved line or signal line. Straight line or control line. Answer. Control line or signal line. Question 120. What statement best explains crack the whip effect? When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the tractor tends to rock and sway. The velocity of the rearmost trailer forces the tractor to roll over before the trailer. Your trailer is half full and the cargo is loaded in the front of the trailer. When you make a sudden steering wheel movement cargo will tend to forcefully slide to the back of the trailer, forcing the trailer to roll over. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Answer. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Question 121. You have pushed the trailer air supply valve. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is empty. Between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. At normal pressure. Answer. At normal pressure. Question 122. Compared to a straight truck or bus there are things to inspect in combination vehicles. More. The same number. Fewer. Answer. More. Question 123. When coupling. The proper position of the fifth wheel is Tilted up toward the end of the tractor Level with the ground Tilted down toward the end of tractor Answer Tilted down toward the end of tractor Question 124 you are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. You would expect the trailer brakes to come on and the tractor protection valve to close, the trailer supply valve to stay open, the tractor to lose all air pressure. Answer the tractor protection valve to close. Question 125. How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? None. About one fourth inch. Just enough to see light through it. Answer. None. Question 126. Glad hands are used to connect the Electric lines from the tractor to trailer Service and emergency air lines from the truck to the trailer Kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel 
Answer. Service and emergency airlines from the track to the trailer. Question 127. When should you use chocks to park a trailer not equipped with spring brakes? Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Never. Always. Answer. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Question 128. Under good driving conditions, you should leave at least one second of space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for every feet of your vehicle's length. 10 20 30 Answer 10 Question 129 after you have coupled the trailer you should have to raise the landing gear by using Low gear Intermediate High gear Answer Low gear Question 130 why should you use chocks when parking a trailer without spring brakes? Because some states require chalking of trailer wheels. Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Because you don't want the trailer rolling down a hill. Answer Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Question 131. You have coupled with the semi-trailer. Where should you put the iron trailer supports before driving away? Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Three turns off the top with a crank handle secured in its bracket. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Answer Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 132 A tractor with an trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Fully loaded. Empty. Lightly loaded. Answer. Fully loaded. Question 133. How should you test the tractor semi trailer connection for security? Pull gently forward in low gear against the locked trailer brakes, then look at it carefully. Put the tractor in gear and pull ahead with a sharp jerk. Rock the trailer back and forth with the trailer brakes locked. Answer Pull gently forward in low gear against the locked trailer brakes, then look at it carefully. Question 134 the air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes off, should be no more than Psi per minute 2 4 3 Answer 4 Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.